Hello my YouTube family welcome to my channel. This is Priya Krishnan. Today I am gonna share you stunning features about starfish. Marine scientists have undertaken the difficult task of replacing the beloved starfishes. Common name with sea star because well, the starfish is not a fish. It's an echinoderm, closely related to sea urchins and sand dollars. There are some 2,000 species of sea star living in all the world's oceans from tropical habitats to the cold sea floor. The five arm varieties are the most common, hence their name, but species with 10, 20, and even 40 arms exist. They have bony, calcified skin which protects them from most predators and many wear striking colors that camouflage them or scare off potential attackers. Purely marine. Animals, there are no freshwater sea stars and only a few live in brackish water. Many echinoderms exhibit radial symmetry, meaning their body parts are arranged around a central axis. Many sea stars have five point radial symmetry because their body has five sections. This means that they do not have an obvious left and right half, only a top side and a bottom side. Echinoderms also usually have spines which are less pronounced in sea stars than they are in other organisms such as sea urchins. Beyond their distinctive shape, sea stars are famous for their ability to regenerate limbs and in some cases entire bodies. They accomplish this by housing most all of their vital organs in their arms. Some require the central body to be intact too. Regenerates, but a few species can grow an entirely new sea star just from a portion of a severed limb. Many people are surprised to learn that starfish have eyes. It's true, the eyes are there, just not in the place you would expect. Sea stars have a nice spot at the end of each arm. This means that a five armed sea star has five eyes, while the forty armed sun star has 40 eyes. Each sea star eye is very simple and looks like a red spot. It doesn't see much detail but it can sense light and dark which is just enough for the environments the animals live in. Sea stars move using hundreds of tube feet located on their underside. The tube feet are filled with seawater which the sea star brings in through the midray for right on its top side. Sea stars prey on bivalves like mussels and clams as well as small fish, snails and barnacles. If you've ever tried to pry the shell of a clam or mussel open, you know how difficult it is. However, sea stars have a unique way of eating these creatures. A sea star's mouth is on its underside. When it catches its food, the sea star will wrap its arms around the animal's shell and pull it open just slightly. Then it does something amazing. The sea star pushes its stomach through its mouth and into the bivalve's shell. It then digests the animal and slides its stomach back into its own body. Most sea stars also have the remarkable ability to consume prey outside their bodies. Using tiny, suction cup tube feet, they pry open clams or oysters, and their sac like cardiac stomach emerges from their mouth and oozes inside the shell. The stomach then envelops the prey to digest it and finally withdraws back into the body. Male and female sea stars are hard to tell apart because they look identical. While many animal species reproduce using only one method, sea stars are a little different. See, stars can reproduce sexually. They do this by releasing sperm and eggs called gametes. Into the water, the sperm fertilizes the gametes and produces swimming larvae, which eventually settle on the ocean floor, growing into adult sea stars. Sea stars can also reproduce asexually through regeneration, which is what happens when the animals lose an arm. Amazingly, sea stars can regenerate lost arms, which is useful if a sea star is injured by a predator, it can lose an arm, escape, and grow a new arm later. Sea stars house most of their vital organs in their arms. This means that some species can even regenerate an entirely new sea star from just one arm and a portion of the star's central disc. This won't happen too quickly, though it takes about a year for an arm to grow back. Thank you for watching.
Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon.